Hi, right, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Turn to discuss further into improper integrals and now go over type 2 or uh, discontinuate integrands. Um, basically, in my earlier videos, I went over the definition as well as examples of type 1 improper integrals, which are the case where the intervals are infinite, such as if you had integral from 1 to infinity of f of x dx. So this one you have an infinite interval and that's the type 1 uh, improper integral. Yeah, but now in this video I'll go over type 2 improper integrals which arise when there are basically in infinite discontinuities or uh, discontinuity that's infinite and basically in the integrand in the end again the integrand is just the function being integrated. So in this case f of x is the integrand. So now moving forward, uh, suppose that the function f is a positive continuous function defined on a finite interval from a to b. And now this, this uh, square bracket a means it's um, continuous at a it exists, but at b it doesn't have to exist there. But as a vertical asymptote at b and let s be the unbounded region under the graph of f, and above the x-axis between a and b. So what this all looks like is, you just take this function as an example. So we have this, so now there's a vertical asymptote at b, let's say b is right here. So it's a vertical asymptote, so it never reaches it, and let's say a is here. So you have a function at, this is the a, and it goes, let's say something like that. Or better yet, let's just go draw it like that. Or a more, actually let's just do a more general one, it goes down and up like that. So anyways, there's uh, infinite discontinuity right here. So it's an asymptote line and it never reaches it. And now this region under under the, the graph uh, right here under the curve, this uh, and above the x-axis, this is our s region. And again, this, this function, though this curve is our y equals f of x curve. And now an interesting note is that for type 1 integrals, the region extended basically um, indefinitely in a horizontal direction. But here we have a basically a vertical direction where the region is go going to infinity. And this one here from type 1, you can see the interval from 1 to infinity. So this case you were going horizontally to infinity. Now we're just changing it up to vertically. But now let's, let's say we were to take the um, area instead of all the way to B, let's say to a number T. So basically the area of the part of S between A and T, let's just select it right over here. Anywhere there, this is T. So this area is now this region right here from left, yeah, from A to T. So if we were to, uh, instead of dealing with B, because there's a discontinuity there, we'll do it at uh, any number T like that then the area of this part of the region is just going to be a of t and this equals to the integral from a to t of f of x dx. And now uh, if we look at this area here and if, if it happens that a of t approaches, let's say a definite number, call it a, as t approaches b uh, from the left hand side or this b yeah, this b superscript minus, this just means from the left side, or from left side. So from the left side of b, so if it's approaching it, then we say that the area of the region s is a. And we write, basically what I'm saying here is, if this region a of t is getting closer and closer, let's say we move t closer and closer to b, if we get a definite number or that it converges to a definite number as it approaches, then we say the area of region is a, and we can write it as basically yeah, as a limit. So the integral from a to b of, yeah, of f of x, so when we're looking at this area, is equal to now the limit as t approaches, uh, as t is approaching b from the left hand side of of now the integral from a to t of f of x dx. So like the type 1 integrals, we're writing this as a limit. And now we could basically use the same equation here uh, to define an improper integral of type 2, even when f is not positive, as in this example we were just covering, and no matter what type of discontinuity f has at b. So putting all this together, we can get a definition again using this equation. If f is continuous on a and b, where a it, it exists, b it doesn't have to exist, and discontinuous at b, 
then we have, uh, then we can write it as integral from a to b of f of x dx is equal to the limit as t approaches uh, b minus and then of the integral from a to t of f of x dx. That's the same one we just did over here. So that this was a type, uh, this was part a of this definition. And again, if, if we could write this like this, if this limit exists as a finite number, and we say it converges and it's uh, and we get that answer. But if f is is continuous on from uh, a to b, we're discontinuous at a. And that's why this again, this regular bracket versus this squ square bracket. So if it's that way, then we just do it the other way around. So the integral from a to b of f x dx. So this is it's discontinuous on the left hand side. This equals to the limit as t approaches a now from the right side of it, integral of now t to b of f of x dx. And again, if this limit exists as a finite number. So that's what it equals to. And basically the improper integral from a to b of f x dx is called convergent if the corresponding limit exists as a, as a number and divergent if the limit does not exist. If it goes to infinity, then basically that does not exist and we call it divergent and because it diverges away from a number. And the last part of the definition part C, if the function f has a discontinuity at C where C is basically in between a and b and both the integrals from a to c and b to c of f of x dx are convergent. So basically we're saying part a and b are convergent for this case, then we can define the integral from a to b of f of x dx as basically a summation of these. So this equals to the integral from a to c of f of x dx, and then plus the integral of c to b, to b of f of x dx. And we're just saying we're just saying in this case this is just basically a summation of these two cases, part A and B. And basically, if you were to get an illustration of the ex an example of the part B, ex example of B, what we can have is basically it's the same it's the same type of curve, but now we're looking at the left hand side. So x, this is y. Now we're dealing with the asymptote line at A. So this is at A, and then it goes something like this, etc. This is at b right here. This is our y equals f of x. And now our, our region that we're calculating the integral of is over here. And in the example where we, we look at, we define t that's such that it's to the uh, right of a right here. And a t is approaching right here. This area is, is the one we're calculating. And then as, as t is approaching a from the right hand side. So this is approaching a plus. And that's what the plus means. And now an example of part C. This is again, that's just a combination of part A and B. So example, just a quick illustration of part C. We can have something like this. This is the Y, this is the X curve. So let's say we have A right here. B is in between, I mean C is in between B, B and A. This is B, and the asymptote is at C. So here's an example. Let's say we were do something like this, where it goes up. So it's infin uh, it's an infinite discontinuity on the left hand side, as well as the right hand side. So that is this function y equals f of x. And basically, what we're saying is the integral from a to b is the summation of the integrals from a to c and c to b, which is basically part a and b. And this is the region we're just going to highlight it here, what we're calculating with the integral. Anyways, that's uh, pretty much all for today. I hope you learned from this uh, pretty uh, interesting video on definition of type 2 um, integrals, which involves discontinuous integrands or infinite discontinuities, etc. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you learned. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.